Good evening, everybody. I'm going to make some uh, cabbage fritters, and I have chopped. You can grate it, uh, put it in food processor. I've just chopped this. Uh, I sliced it really, really thin, and then I went back and cut the other way and just cut this up. And I'm into small pieces. And I'm going to salt it and let the water, some of the water draw out of it. And I'll come back when, uh, when the water starts coming out and I'm gonna squeeze some of the water out uh, before I make my patties. Now you don't have to do that. You can put all your ingredients in just like this is right now and uh, fry your patties up. But this is what I'm gonna make for my supper tonight. And I'm also in the kitchen making some uh, other videos while I have time. And uh, one of them is going to be a fermented sweet potato drink. So if you like spicy, and sweet potatoes, our sweet potato casserole, our sweet potato pie. You're gonna love this drink. So stay tuned for that. And I'm just working the salt through, uh, just kind of breaking the cabbage down where the water will come. And uh, then I'm gonna get some of the water. I'm gonna get some of the water off. And our cabbage will be a little bit uh, softer, uh, so it'll be a little bit easier to cook when we're frying it, uh, if it's broke down a little bit. Uh, but like I said, you do not have to do it. You can, uh, uh-oh, I hear the stray cat out there. Y'all are probably fixing to hear the dogs start barking. The cat comes up and talks to my other cat, and... Uh, I have my windows up. So I hear it out there. I have to keep my cat food up in between time for my cat to eat because they'll come and eat all the cat food, y'all. And cat food's gotten so expensive, it's all I can do to feed the one I got. But I'm going to let this sit on the counter a few minutes while I'm doing some other stuff. And then I'm going to come back and show y'all how to make these. They're going to be delicious. Okay, guys. We're back to do the cabbage. It's been sitting and I've mashed it like this. Y'all see the liquid? So I'm gonna get that liquid off and come back and uh, I'm just squeezing it. Like I said, you don't have to. The reason why I do, it makes the cabbage a little bit more tender than frying that raw cabbage. So that, that's gonna be your, your preference. So let me get this, let me get this juice off. And you could put this, uh, you know, in some kind of uh, sleeve or uh, something to drain it where, you know, a lot more water will drain off, but it's okay for it to be a little bit wet. That way our cornmeal or flour or whatever you choose to season yours. Let me get my, my skillet was getting too hot. I had to turn it off because I had to go out and put the chickens up, y'all. I've had a busy day today. I've got a lot of stuff done. So we have some chopped onion. You can grate it. Put as little as much as you want. This is probably, y'all, about a good packed cup of cabbage. But y'all just, y'all remember, it's just me. And so I, I don't need more than that for a family you would probably need uh, several several cups but I didn't put that in a cup but I would guess it'd be about a about a full cup so there's our chopped onions and I do like texture of onions so I didn't want to grate mine so this is onion powder of course y'all know I always have my turmeric these are my Y'all know these are my three go-to seasonings. My garlic powder. Uh, 
This is my uh, pink Himalayan salt, and I'm gonna go light on that because we salted that water. And I don't, let me mix this up and I'm gonna taste a piece of this cabbage and see what I'm tasting. Okay, that tastes good. Actually, it's good just like that. Like you could eat it like a coleslaw, put a little bit of, uh, so this is one of my uh, eggs, actually, I just picked up. This is from a, uh, from my olive egger. It's got the green color. You can use egg substitute. And y'all know me, I prefer, I prefer, sorry y'all, I got too much going on here. I prefer cornmeal over flour. But you can use flour if that's what you want to do. So we're just gonna mix this up. And you will add the amount of flour or cornmeal, or you can do both. You can put your nutritional yeast in this, which I might. Actually, now that I've said that, I think I'll give it a sprinkle. Because y'all know I love the flavor. Let me spread this out where it gets. And that'll help bind it also. Of course, between that and the turmeric, let me show y'all that that jar. Nutritional yeast. That way I can get some extra vitamins and the extra protein that that has. And I think from the way that looks, I'm going to put a little bit more of cornmeal. I would prefer fresh ground cornmeal, but I can only get that seasonally around here at our farmer's market. They sell out of that really fast. There is a lady that does grind it, and I could get corn and grind it myself in the food processor. And y'all know, you think about doing a lot of things, but there's only so much time in the day. So much time in the day to get things done, and it seems like I run out of that. But you can take uh, popcorn just a bag of cheap popcorn and uh, grind it up and you've got cornmeal. Nothing to it. So if y'all are scared that you will ever won't have cornmeal, buy you a bunch of popcorn, which is cheaper than buying cornmeal in the store. Buy you a bunch of popcorn up and store it in some buckets and you can grind your own meal. Okay. Let's see if we can get y'all over on this stove where you can see what I'm about to do. Okay, I don't need. And you can just make a little patty like that. with your hand. And we're gonna put that right down in our, right down in our hot oil. You can use grape seed oil, avocado seed, avocado oil, not avocado seed. Olive oil would probably not be the best thing. Ooh, I got that pan too hot. Turn that fire down. And got a little brown too quickly. I didn't realize the pan was that hot. But this is the same procedure basically that we did with our uh, potato cakes. You can also do this with corn. 
and uh, you just let them just let these cook until they get really brown and uh, like I said if you don't drain the water out your cabbage is going to be a little bit more hard so with you know massaging it to get the water out you kind of break that cabbage down a little bit so to me it's a little bit more tender <coughs> Uh, I've never done an outside batter when I've cooked these because uh, they're kind of soft and uh, they don't stay together like the potato cakes. So I don't know if that would be possible unless you put a lot of flour and the flour would probably hold it better than the cornmeal, but I just prefer the taste, the taste of the cornmeal. Now I need to turn our, turn our fire back up a little bit. So one cup made five patties which is way more than I need. I'm not even sure what I'm going to have with this yet. I'm just going to get this cooked and get it out of the way, and then I'll continue on with my adventure. I cleaned the fence row with the chicken pen today. I, uh... I've been cleaning a brush pile this week out on the back side of the land. I finished that yesterday morning. There'll be a video of that released very soon. I trimmed a lot of the underbrush uh, out of the chicken pen. The next video I make out there, y'all will be able to see uh, how much cleaner it is. A lot of the area you couldn't walk because of underbrush under those trees that had never gotten cleaned. And I had, in the summer last year, I had some of the smaller pine trees die. And uh, I thought I was gonna have to cut them down. And y'all, when I went out there today, thank God, because it was something I was able to do myself. Um, I started pushing on them and uh, they just pushed right over. So I've got another burn pile now in the chicken pen that's gotta be burned. But I may go out and uh, video that in a couple of days cause we're having some beautiful weather this week uh, before another little cold front comes back next week. And uh, I was trying to get some of this done because after the little cool front, the extended forecast shows that it's really, really going to get hot here. I, I don't know if that's what will happen or not, but uh, I don't like to, I don't, for those of you that follow me, y'all know I do not like the heat. Me and the heat don't get along. And, uh... I like to get this stuff done. Let me cut this one in too so it can be. Ooh -wee. Don't that look good? Yummy, yummy. If you love cabbage, you'll love these. But uh, my friend Calvin, RV Living with the Geezer, if you don't watch his channel, go over and watch his channel, commented on my potato, mashed potato patties, my leftover mashed potatoes. I was trying to show y'all what to do if you had some leftover mashed potatoes to not, uh, to not waste your potatoes, to make another meal out of them. And uh, this is a good way to do cabbage and corn. Of course, a lot of fried food's not good for you, but if you do it in, you know, like I said, 100% grapeseed oil, which is good for you, and even better is pure avocado oil, you're getting the 
good oils instead of the bad oils. So, I don't spend a lot of money at the grocery store because I get most of my food at the food pantry, but I will buy the good oil, uh, especially since I'm having the cholesterol issue. I figure, uh, I figure buying the good food, although it is expensive, is cheaper than a doctor. And as y'all know, I don't have doctor bills, so I will continue to eat the good food because it's much cheaper than doctor bills and a lot less aggravating. But there's our cabbage fritters. They did get a little dark, but that's okay. I'll eat them anyway. I couldn't get my skillet regulated. I don't know, that happens with my hot water bread every once in a while. And I can't figure out what causes it because I use the same pan every time. But anyway, there's our, there's our cabbage fritters. Ooh, y'all see how pretty that is? Yummy. I want to take a bite, but I'm scared it's too hot, y'all. Mm. Mm. It's just the right amount of seasoning. And I'm sorry the dog see somebody out the window. Just the right amount of seasonings. Get that where y'all can see it. There's not too much salt, just enough onion, just enough. I can taste the cornmeal. I'd rather have the cornmeal taste than that blah flour. That's why I always use cornmeal. Nugget, 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 stop, stop. He's the instigator and Brinley's following along. Anyway, that got me totally distracted. I don't even know what I was saying. Something about this cabbage fritter. Oh, God. Y'all be blessed. Know you're loved. Make you some cabbage fritters. Don't forget to say your prayer. Jesus, you are loved, but Jesus loves you more. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Thanks for putting up with my nonsense. We love y'all.